Well, it's fast becoming the best double act in town, the diminutive figure of 13-year-old Lydia Ko, pitted against the fighting spirit of 16-year-old Cecilia Cho. Presented in magnificent condition for the four-day tournament, Whitford Park attracted a host of members and visitors keen to watch a close contest. The competition was down to two, Cecilia Cho against Lydia Ko. Tied for the lead overnight at seven under, Cho started nervously, dropping a shot on the first hole. But after this great approach on hole number two, she rallied, claiming a birdie to get back to seven under par. On five, a confident Ko made her run, both players boasting outstanding short games, and this approach typical of Ko's precision play. Cho took the lead for the first time on the fifth hole after this great putt. She relished the quick greens. She was now at eight under. But not to be outdone, Ko responded on the very next hole. A great chip shot, it would claim yet another birdie. Meantime, in the men's division, Ryan Fox started brilliantly in his quest to challenge the record books. He would start the day 10 shots clear of his rivals. And he sent a message on the very first hole that he would take no enemies. His closest rivals were Keelan Kirkpatrick from the Rusty Club in Christchurch. He'd shoot 71 in the final round, finishing second overall. And Fraser Wilkin from Royal Auckland. He matched scores, but ended the day in third, some 12 shots behind clubmate Fox. Hardly pressured to shoot low, Fox found the light wins a little more challenging in the final round. That chip there resulted in another birdie, one of four on the final day. Meantime, Cecilia Cho tried to reduce the two-shot buffer that Ko had enjoyed at the turn with great bunker play like this on hole 12. But approach shots on 13 were typical of the close competition these two enjoy. Ko deftly placing this pitch within birdie range. While Cho showed she was equal to the occasion by delivering a similar result. Meantime, Ryan Fox closed out a memorable tournament, finishing up on 18 with a final round of 70, a victory by 11 shots. It's surely to be a springboard for future success for the son of All Black great Grant. It's my first New Zealand title, so obviously it's, it's awesome to have one under the belt. And did it feel like a home course for you? The, the knowledge, do you think, helped? Yeah, the knowledge, especially with the wind, it swirls a lot around here. And on the couple of days we got a bit of wind, it was really good. I sort of know what's head off the tees, and I feel just really comfortable playing around here. Meantime, Cecilia Cho had closed to within one, as she chipped close here on 16. But she was fast running out of holes. On to 17, the match virtually decided with this birdie putt from Lydia Ko. With one to play, she led by two. On the final hole, a last gasp effort for birdie from Cho, and it went within centimetres of the hole. But Ko had done enough to claim her third straight victory at the North Island Champs, continuing the remarkable run of success by this prodigious talent. I've never played a competition and won three times in a row. That's like an achievement. And uh, I think they'll give me more confidence for the New Zealand Amateur. And I've never really played good at Whitford Park, so it's a really good conquered course now.